We begin tonight with controversy in Mississippi as a federal judge strikes down a law presented by state lawmakers. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Victoria Bailey. Emily is on assignment. As you can imagine, the Magnolia State is divided on what this means for the freedom of religion. And I caught up with some local residents for their take on the change. We in, in, in the state of Mississippi, we cannot discriminate against anyone. The reaction of many after a U.S. District Court judge stopped enforcement of HB 1523 or the Religious Freedom Act. Now this spring, the state's legislature passed this bill and many agree it's what's best not only for the state but for the country as a whole. We should stand for our religion and our rights because we don't want that to be taken away. We've had so many things taken away from us, and this country was founded on our Christian rights and our freedom of religion. The Religious Freedom Act is designed to protect three religious beliefs, that marriage is only between a man and woman, that sex should only take place in such marriage, and that a person's gender is determined at birth and cannot be altered. But opponents say it gives religious organizations, businesses, and companies the ability to deny service to the LGBT community. I mean, it's their business, so if they want to deny somebody that, they, if they don't want to participate in something that goes against their religion, I don't think they should have to. Late Thursday night, right before the law was to take effect, U.S. District Judge Carlton W. Reeves issued an injunction blocking the bill, and Representative Mickens says it may be for the best. I think he made a good decision to do that because we filed that bill and it passed. I don't think we carefully looked into all the backlash that might have would come. And others echo Representative Mickens' sentiments. They should have rights just like you and I because they pay taxes, they work, they live just like you and I live. So they should have the right to live within freedom.